Hello and welcome. I'm Paul and this is my channel, Wellbeing with Paul. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you some observations about confidence and how to have confidence in hope for a presentation. So numerous times through my career, I had people come to me and say, Paul, Paul, I'm freaking out. I've got a massive presentation coming up, the biggest one I've ever had. I mean, it's the first presentation I've ever done. I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. How do I get confidence with? How am I going to be good? How am I going to do? I'm like, okay, all right, let's take a moment to think about that. But the first thing I have to ask you is a question. And the question I always ask people in this situation is, on a clear sunny day, what color would you use to describe the sky? They would often look at me a little bit dubiously and go, um, blue? Or maybe actually, in fact, someone said to me the other day, sky blue, being absolutely clear about that. And I would say, yeah, absolutely. That is the color I would also agree with. I would call that color, which is the sky on a clear sunny day, blue. And that then leads to the conversation of this, where I would ask, well, how do you say that confidently? How do you say the sky is blue with confidence? And they go, well, because everyone else calls it blue. And I go, yeah, that's, that's right. Over the course of history, at some point, someone said, that color, we're going to name it blue to make it easier for us to be able to converse and have more frequent conversations where we encounter that color. But over the course of our lives, we are also presented situations where people have referred to that color, blue, to describe the sky. And we have also, in conversations, also reflected on it and said, well, that color there is blue. And people have reciprocated by understanding us as we hoped. And this was what I highlight because this helps us understand where confidence, I believe, comes from. And it's more frequently gained through doing things frequently. So much so, in fact, that when we do it, we barely even think about it because we know it's going to go the way we hoped. But that's thanks to numerous situations of repetition and practice. So now I ask them to have a think about the presentation. Usually it provokes a bit of anxiety, but we stay focused on what we're going to be doing. So the first I ask a bunch of questions with this question to start. What language are you going to be performing your presentation? And they will say, well, in the language I most frequently speak. In fact, it's my native tongue. I've been speaking this since I was born. Okay, all right, so we ascertain that for a moment ago, this is the first time you're doing this, okay? The me even said, I've never done anything like this. Okay, it's all new to me. Okay, so we reflect on that and we come back and say, well, actually, the first thing is you're doing is speaking in a language you already know. And you've spoken in since you were very small. In fact, since you arrived on this earth and you've learned how to speak, that's the language you've been speaking in. Okay, so you've got lots of practice in that one. Then I go, okay, right. Have you ever spoken to a group of people? For example, maybe a family gathering or a gathering of friends. Any group? I go, yeah. Okay. When you've spoken to that group, how many people were in it? Maybe 20, 30? Okay, so you've spoken to quite a big group, a group of people, and you've been able to converse with them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, how about the presentation software? Are you going to be using any form of computers or any other tools or skills to be able to convey your presentation to people. And they go, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be using um, this software. Okay. Now, is this the first time you're using the software? No, no, no. I've used it loads of times before. Okay. So that's not new. Now, what we're starting to do here is ascertain that actually what is new, because when we approach presentations or what we think is a new experience, most frequently, when you break it down into a small compartments, as segments, for want of a better phrase, you start to recognize that actually, what is actually new is often just a small percentage compared to what you actually are doing. And this is where we start to recognize where our confidence, which we already have in those areas, can be transferred to the situation and brought with you. What we'll call transferable skills. Okay, so we're starting to recognize that actually we can have confidence even in completely new and what seems like terrifying situations because actually when we break it down into its actual components, we start to recognize actually we are maybe even incredibly proficient 
in the majority vote of what is about to happen. Now, if you have not used any of this software before, perhaps if you're doing a presentation with those particular materials, then I always advocate to get some practice in. So when you do arrive, you've gained more confidence through frequency and practice. You start to rehearse to increase the chances of your awareness of this presentation when you have to give it. So we start to recognize actually that firstly, we've understood what confidence is, gained through regular situations, practice, and repetition. Then we start to recognize that when we look at situations like a presentation, but can be transferred to any situation, that actually, when you break it down into its very fundamental components, it is actually not that much of a new thing. So what was originally this terrifying, 100% brand new, terrifying experience is in fact maybe 10%, 20% new thing. The rest of it, you've been doing possibly for even years. And you've got loads of confidence in it because you've been doing it for so long and so often. And this is what I share with you today, is to recognize that when you look at situations and you really do analyze them, break them down into those components, you start to see actually how proficient, how talented, and how confident you already are at it. So you can see how you can navigate this new other thing. Because in the beginning, all of those things were new to you, weren't they? When you arrived, and well, I would love to find anyone who actually did arrive, being able to speak fluently at the point of arrival, being born. But to my knowledge, no one ever really did. But we all found a way to communicate one way or another. And for all the other things you did, you learned them over the passing of time and you built those skills into your repertoire. So you are now able to engage with them as and when you need to. Well, I hope that information was helpful to you and I hope it serves you in some way. Until next time, everybody. Bye for now.